biggest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, we got one. We got one. Oh, oh my God. What's up guys, this is TJ, AKA Fishing with Yak Pack, and I'm here today with Trey. I think he's probably still on the phone again. The kid's always on the phone. We're here today in the Dick Sporting Goods parking lot, and what we're gonna be doing is uh, putting a, a very high-end reel on a Dock Demon. I know that sounds crazy, but I did get that comment in a video, a couple videos back, somebody was like, oh, you should put a baitcaster on a Dock Demon. And I started thinking about that, and I was like, well, you know, I've never actually made a Dock Demon video, right? So I've never used a Dock Demon. I just know that they're, I guess apparently they're supposed to be like super built. They're just built different. They're supposed to be like super tough rods. I don't know, I've never used one, but we're gonna find out today for sure in this video. So with that said, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you have not already. Thank you guys again for 100K. We, uh, we just passed it the other day. We got to 100K and then 101K in the, in the same. <sighs> Sick, bro. Such a cool car, man. Anyways, hopefully this Dix even has the Dock Demons. I know mine, where I live, does definitely have the uh, the Dock Demons, but uh, I'm actually here at a, a completely different Dix, one that I very rarely come to. Uh, but good news though, Norm is actually on the way to meet me here and uh, Norm and I are gonna be collabing and making videos together this weekend. So if you've missed Norm, like a lot of you have in the comments, if you've missed him, then stand by, because the next couple videos Norm's gonna be in. I know I miss Norm too. It's been quite a minute since uh, since Norm and I have got to kick it and fish together. So anyways, with that said, let's get into dicks and let's go on the uh, the dock demon hunt. Let's try to find us a dock demon. I don't know, we may buy some fishing lures too, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll, we'll see you guys in dicks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here inside of Dick Sporting Goods now, and I've actually never been inside of this Dick Sporting Goods. And uh, upon, escalating up the escalator uh I, I realized that this is probably the biggest dick sporting goods that i've ever been in also filled with the most efficient stuff like i would say like half of this store like the back half of it like is all fishing stuff which is insane i've never seen this much fishing stuff i've never seen this much fishing stuff inside of one single dick sporting goods so let's uh let's have a look around we are on the search we're on the hunt for a uh, dock demon fishing rod i think i just found it actually dock demon no not that's not a dock no that's a rocket okay that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the actual dock demon fishing rod there's just so much stuff here in this dick sporting goods it is insane and my freaking hair is out of control right now but i kind of like it not gonna lie i do got a really big forehead but the hair the flow right here just kind of compensates for the big forehead it makes it it this that it, it goes well with each other you know what i mean enough flowage talk we got enough flowage talk let's find the the what we're here for let's find the dock demon where would you even look for that, where would you find the dog? I know they, ha I swear, well, I, I feel like they have, in my dick sporting goods, they have them. I don't know, probably somewhere else. Look, let's see. Dude, that's freaking sick right here. Look at this. Imagine trying to bass fit. Let's go around the corner. Imagine trying to bass fish. Where's it at? Right here, this one. Imagine bass fishing with that, guys. That's a big, that's insane. That's like a shark reel. Like you take that to the beach and catch sharks with it. That's insane. I don't know, maybe 3,000 likes on this video and we might give it a shot. I don't think, here's these rats, dude. That would be a cool video, huh? Buck tooth Chapo, Dude, the freaking El Chapo. come on now. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. It's a beaver, it's, like, it's an actual beaver. I don't even think bass would eat that. I really don't think they'll eat that. Maybe I'm wrong. Though. Here, no. Play knives, we don't want play knives. I swear. I think we found it. Dock demon, yep. Found it. Oh my god. Extremely tough, solid fiberglass rod construction. Oh, almost tried to write it. <laughs> I thought that was like a, a thing in the rod. It's just like explaining what that is, but in Spanish. Let me not try to do that. Dock demon, zip. Yeah, you were right, Zepco. I think you said Zepco. Sick. Okay, so the uh, it's got 100 yards of six pound line on it. But uh, the ultimate, what we're going to be doing, I don't necessarily want to test the reel, right? I want to test the rod. So we're going to be putting a, uh, a very high-end reel on this rod right here. And uh, that way we can truly test, you guys see the rod right here, how, how flexible and bendy it is. We want to see how actually tough this thing is. If you hook into a, a big fish, good fish, whatever, we want to see if we can handle it. So we're going to scoop one of these. We've got the Zebco. Do we need baits? We need baits, Trey? I think we need baits. We probably need some baits. Let's go grab some baits real quick. All right, Trey, if you don't mind, we hold that. First thing on the list that we're gonna get, I think I just, I literally, I thought I'd just seen it. Right over here somewhere. Yep, right here. 
First thing we're snatching, gold rattle trap. My idea behind a rattle trap or something with treble hooks is I don't know how strong that rod is gonna be, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to set the hook with uh, like a Texas rig or something like that. I'm gonna try. Don't get me wrong, because it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a fishing challenge if it wasn't extremely difficult. Let's get something for a Texas rig. I have had some pretty good luck here recently on the crack and crawl, it seems like. So we're gonna do one of those in black and blue. Can never go wrong. Anywhere you go in the country, you can never go wrong with black and blue or a crawl style bait. Never go wrong with that. So I guess the last thing we need is a pack of speed worms. Let's do it. Well, they don't have green pumpkin, so Trey says to get gooseberry. I've uh, I've never used I've never used gooseberry before, but I, they look they look kind of good. It's got some like purple on it, and it's some, I don't know. That's kind of okay. If these work, I'll buy your dinner tonight. Yeah. All right. So let's make it easy as we can for you, but hard as we can for me, because it wouldn't be a fishing challenge if it wasn't hard, right? Yak pack 2021. All right. Well, I think we got everything we need, so let's go check out. Let's go get on the water. All right, ladies and gents, we made it outside to the truck. Now we gotta get rigged up. We're running off of, uh, we don't have much, oh my gosh. We don't have much daylight left. That is gonna be epic. That's like a, uh, a three foot one ultralight. Did I hear it crack? Let's see what it says. Can't even see in the sunlight. It says two foot six, excuse me, two foot six medium. We're working with a two foot six medium here. Okay, we're gonna be putting a Shimano SLX DC on this thing because why not? Boy, if that ain't the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Again, I don't know which, which one it's gonna be, but in one of these challenges one day, I'm gonna catch a 10 pounder. I don't know what challenge it's gonna be, but it's gonna happen and I, it's gonna blow my mind. But uh, we're gonna start out with the gold rattle trap here. And uh, first off, we gotta get some line on it. It doesn't even look even, honestly. Anyways, let's get lined up, let's get the rattle trap tied on and uh, we'll see you guys at the pond. All right, ladies and gents, we're here. Let's take us a little test pitch first. That way we, oh no. Oh, that was actually not that bad, not gonna lie. Not that bad. Let's see if we can get us a, a good solid cast in here. Dude, this thing zoots. It's kind of, this low key kind of, I don't know. This might be, uh, this might be quite difficult. <laughs> this might actually be really difficult. Over the hand cast, let's see what we got. Oh God. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> I feel like when I cast this thing, I feel like I'm like throwing a football or something. It's really, it's kind of hard to explain. It's really weird. <laughs> oh, I just hooked myself. It's never a good thing. Oh, that could have been bad. Watch, watch how I have to cast this thing. That's a good cast though. Not gonna lie, it's a good cast. Can a dock demon even handle like an eight pounder? For okay. sure. Yeah, for so? sure. Definitely. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if the dock demon's about that, that smoke. That thing's unbreakable, dude. Nah, mate, we'll see. We'll find out. All right, ladies and gents, we're here. Day two. And we've got us a, uh, we picked us up a wild fishing with Norm. There's, Hello. there's fishing with Norm. So we're gonna make a, a lap or two around the pond here. Try to catch one. We're still using the gold trap. I don't know. It's been, I don't know. We tried to use it yesterday. I just, I don't know if it's gonna work. I think silver might've been better. That's a little bad. All right. Well, the goal is to uh, attempt to catch one on the trap and then uh, we'll switch baits up. We'll kind of let it, let the, uh, see what the fish want to eat. If we can get one on the trap, we may switch to uh, I don't know, one of the soft plastics, I'm sure, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, we got one, we got one, we got one. Oh, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one. Oh, the rattle trap, oh, it came off. Oh, oh, why did I just throw my rod and reel in the water? <laughs> why did you do that? Help me, Trey, help me. Help me, can help me, bro. Help me. <laughs> Get this thing out my back, bro. Get this thing out my back. Oh, no. <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. I don't know what to do, stop, bro. Stop. Bro, that's a good fish. Let's freaking go on the trap. What a disaster I've just created for myself. 
Yeah, the Yeezys are to bro. They're toast. Ruined. They're toast. The Yeezys. Did you see me? I hope I hope I got that all on GoPro. I threw my <laughs> whole combo in the water. I, did you all not like just bite me off or something? Just. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. I just got bit right at the freaking bank. This is a solid like six pounder, dude. No like eat. No, I'm kidding. It's not a six. <laughs> I have y'all cr going crazy in the comments. But when I went to get in the water, number one, the Yeezys are absolute freaking toast. I threw my combo in the water. I don't know what just happened right there. Anyways, we're gonna get a picture of this dude. We're gonna get him back. Go grow, and uh, we'll catch you next time. That was a nice little dunk right there. I cannot believe I just did. I cannot believe I just did what I did. Jumped in the water through my combo bro what oh in the rattle trap oh it came off of all places i decided that it would be best if i threw it in front of me 10 feet out in the water that was quite the the event it's good to know i'm an absolute mess I'm an absolute mess. Look, so um, when I set my hook, I, I really hope you guys can see this on the camera. When he came off, I tried to put my foot in, he was like right here, I tried to put my foot in front of him so he couldn't flop. He flopped back down. I jumped down in the water and as I did this, I threw my rod that way. <laughs> I, Why? I don't know. I don't know. Holy that's, smokes. That's hysterical though. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty impressed with the little dock demon. They handled that fish. I told you. Absolutely handled that fish. That was a solid three pounder, no joke. Maybe not a three, I don't know. What do you think it was, Trey? Two. It was a three. Here's a YouTube. That thing. was a solid three and a half pounder, and this rod absolutely bullied that fish. We successfully, uh, we got one on the gold trap. I'm gonna switch it up real quick. I don't know what we're gonna use, let's see. All right, after a wild catch with the, uh, the rattle trap, we switched up, we got us a little crawl on. Now, we guess that's actually cast pretty good too. I think this probably weighs a little more than the uh, than the trap did. I, I'm actually kind of curious though. Like I don't know. This rod had so much bend in it. Those treble hooks wasn't really able to like dig into that fish's mouth. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to set the hook with with a uh, the dock beam. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. We're gonna see though. I thought you was good enough to make the hook. Under this tree? I bet. Uh -huh. Well, I, when I just retied this. I didn't tie my weight on it, so we'll see. But we do got something good going for us. The wind is blowing this way. So <laughs> we'll just see. I don't know. I'm gonna just side, side. <laughs> not in the tree. That's not the cast we want. Not in the tree. We don't want to go in the tree. Let me scoot. I'm gonna go. I don't want to scoot too far because there could be fish here. Oh, that's the one right there. That's. Oh, go out, go out. That's not the one. That's not the one. We'll get that back. All right, we gotta get in there. We'll just take a knee and cast. Oh, that's the one. That is the one right there. Let it out. That is a perfect cast. Oh, is that grass? Oh. oh, not grass, not grass, not grass, not grass. It's not grass. <laughs> Come on, look at the bend of this rod, dude. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God, look at this thing. Oh, it's a fish. It's a good fish. Oh my gosh, dude. Come here, come here. On the crawl, baby. Dude, screaming drag. Dude, this rod almost broke. This rod literally almost broke. I feel like it almost broke. This is probably cracked now. Dude, another solid fish on the dock demon. Let's freaking go. My dude munched the crawl right under the tree. I just made a long parallel cast on the bank. You gotta love it. You gotta freaking love it. That's a, that's a solid, so I don't know. Funny. If I had to guess, four. Yeah. Four. If that's kind of, that's kind of, that's, you know, Six. that's four easy, you know. That's a good looking fish though. You gotta love these Florida fish. It's cold, fish cold, yeah. fish very cold. Let's freaking go on the dock demon, baby. Go grow. Catch you next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring this video to a close. We have the uh, the Dock Demon here. We managed to catch one on the uh, the rattle trap, which is a very good one. Trey, will you grab my Yeezys real quick? I also ruined 
my uh four hundred dollar shoes so you gotta freaking love when that happens I i'm soaking wet jumped in after like after the fish in those shoes i thought you were gonna let it go so i jumped in in the in the how bad are they uh are they they're boost? gonna smell they're, bad they're so booth oh, they smell look. terrible and they are soaking wet oh and, that's so sick dude. And you gotta love it they also have like snot on the oh lessons. god dude, that's gonna be so sick Oof. well I'll, I'll, not only did i do that when i jumped in the water i did you see it? I don't think Norm saw it. Trey saw it. I threw my rod in the water. What sense is that? I don't know what was going through my head. I think I was just super excited to catch that fish. But I didn't think the Doc Demon was going to be able to handle fish like that, but it absolutely did. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Norm's going to uh, help me. <laughs> that man <laughs> ruined his shoes. <laughs> oh, you hate to see I, it. I, you, you jumped in, and I was like, this man has to have his Crocs on. But I was like, I swear I saw him get out of the truck with his Yeezys on. Yeah, it was bad. And it, it just lily pads, vegetation all over his shoes. I can't believe you did that. That was dedication. You that guys got to like and subscribe just 100%. for Yakback sacrificing yeah, that his was shoes. That's, yeah, anyways, yeah, it's, <laughs> that was bad. Uh, and, oh, gosh, I almost broke the dock demon. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for 100K. Uh, let's get to a million this year. Why not? 10 million. Why not? 500 million. 500 million. We can do it. We can get the first 500 million plaque on YouTube. Let's do it. Heck yeah. Thanks again for watching. Catch y'all next adventure. Peace. Bye.